Hello, my name is James Burleson and I am the Public Information Officer for the North Glen Police Department. This week's review will cover the dates of September 25th through October 1st. I'm standing at the EV Range Skate Park where officers were called to a large disturbance involving two females fighting. On September 25th, around 7.15 at night, officers were responding to a call of people fighting at the skate park. When officers arrived on scene, they determined the fight started between two females and escalated when family members arrived on scene. Multiple disorderly conduct tickets were issued. Earlier on September 25th, dispatch received multiple calls of an unknown man walking around and entering random homes. All of these calls took place between 1 and 3 in the afternoon. Officers were unable to locate the suspect, but had a good description, which they provided to surrounding agencies. Around 4 p.m., Westminster officers detained the suspect near an apartment complex. He is facing multiple charges, including first-degree criminal trespass. On September 26, North Glen police officers removed more than 180 fentanyl pills from the streets of North Glen. Officers noticed suspicious activity while patrolling an apartment complex. They contacted the driver who denied possessing any drugs. However, officers clearly observed drug paraphernalia through the window. The car was searched, leading to the discovery of the pills and paraphernalia. On September 29th, officers were dispatched to a local convenience store on reports of a robbery. According to the store employee, a female was attempting to shoplift from the store. As the suspect attempted to leave with stolen merchandise, the store employee blocked her path. The suspect then forced her way past him and fled. En route to the store, officers noticed a female walking away from the store eating a bag of chips. She matched the description of the suspect provided. The suspect was known by officers and has a history of shoplifting. She was arrested and charged with robbery. On October 1st, a resident found an injured cat in their backyard. Officer Cole transported the cat to a veterinary clinic where it was treated and taken to a local animal shelter for adoption. Saturday, October 1st, officers were supporting our partners at Ralston House for their sliders, ciders, tacos, and beer event. The Ralston House provides victims a safe place for law enforcement to investigate child abuse and ensure victim services for children who have been abused or witnessed violence. NPD's goal is to provide officers with the best possible training. Officers attended drive track training. During this training, officers were able to practice their driving skills, pursuit tactics, and tactical vehicle intervention aimed at bringing a pursuit to an end. Continued and regular training helps officers stay sharp to better serve you. Crime data and trends can be found on our website, www.northglen.org police. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest from the North Glen Police Department.